hi guys, my name is Cosmic Chimp and today we're going to do a follow-up video to the tutorial that I did on Medieval Engineers camera features. In that video, I showed you how to do the waypoints, how to edit them and how to paste them into the game. But this time I'm taking it further by putting them into hotkeys where you're able to switch between the scenes very fast, very easily and you're not needing to slow down to copy and paste them over into the game. For example, when I press F8 and go to Spectator, I can just press that button here and boom, I'm straight into my above scene where it's circling the stadium and it's kind of like a helicopter theme when they're going around the scenes. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Now, if I press this one, it will take me into a view of the inner arena. And you could, take, you could also do static cameras, like this is the tower cam. And it's just straight onto it. Very simple, very basic, and if I do this one, going up. Now you can set up all the different waypoints, all the different camera views that you want, and all you need to use is a script that Epic Grit, where I've implemented it into the game. So you download the script, and you also download hot points. I'll show you that um, in a second. Once you have all that set up, and you've got all your waypoints onto it, it's easy enough to bind a key to them and you're away, off you go. Now after I've done that side of it, there's also something else that was implemented into the game and that is being able to look through the eyes of another character through admin controls and it's amazing. So I'll show you that in the, after I've done running you through the script and that. So let's jump into the script itself. This is the script itself. Very simple, very short, very easy to use. All you need to do is just put your waypoints right here. All you need to do is add it to a hotkey. Any button, as you want. But I have done it to my Elgato Stream Deck. And I'll show you that in a second. The only thing I would say is, the difference between a static view and the panoramic system that you've set up is this right here. For the waypoints to do a fluid movement, you just leave it as it is, just put your waypoints in. But if you want it to be a static camera, that is it, just doesn't move. You take the that bit out and that's it, simple as that. But I'll add that back in. Now, on the Elgato Stream Deck, this is what it looks like. And if I was to take that out. So here is the Elgato Stream Deck and this is what I've set up. Now, these are all the different areas that I've put in. So you've got your armory, you've got the above scene, the inside scene, the stadium fans area. And all you need to do is go into systems on the stream deck, go into open, drag it over. Then you need to find the actual source itself. So I'm going into my recordings uh, script there. And that is the script on this side. It's not anything, so it won't actually do anything itself. And then you just name it, and if you want to take it an extra bit further, put a picture on it so you can see it straight away. If I click on, right, the above scene, and if I go into the... So this is a folder that I set up with all the all the scenes. And if I go into this one here, actually, and I'll edit the script. As you can see here, this is a script for that, that waypoint, and it's a static view. And if you look there, that is the waypoints right there. And I've taken out the bit there for the static view. And if I wanted to add another one, so if I take close that down, eh, I'll take Arena Top Circle and Edit Script. <laughs> so this is the the waypoints circling. And all, as you can see here, all the waypoints is in smooth. And there's that wee bit at the bottom. Okay, that's, it's not very hard to use. Anybody can use it. Come out of that. Come out of that. Now, the two buttons that I've got is Alt-V and the switch button. So, this one here is basically Alt, Shift and Spacebar. That's all it does. Press that and the movement goes. And the Alt-V is the exact same and that's for the static camera. So, I just go into the systems. I've got the hot switch, hot key switch over here and then I've just got the hotkey right there. 
that is it. But you, obviously, if you don't have a Stream Deck, you can use your keyboard and you can set it all up yourself. Fair, fairly simple. So I just press the end, I press the button, so one of these, and then I press that and it goes. Okay? So now that you know that, let's go and show you how to download everything. Now the first thing you need to do is download this and it's a hotkey program. Once you've downloaded that, you then use your script. Once you've got your script all sorted, you have to make sure it saves as a AHK file. If it's not, it won't work. It has to be a AHK file and then it'll look like this. It will look like one of these files and that is everything set up. You don't need to do anything else other than that. And then you can literally press the hotkeys and all your scenes will just slide through easy enough. Now that we've done that, walked through it, you know how to use it, you know how to work it. Let's go and show you the really cool feature that the developers have added into the game. And that's the ability to see through the characters and see their health bars and everything. And it was made for the tournaments. So let's go and invite somebody in and show you that. Okay guys, so back in the game, and this time we have two people with us. We have Kumpel and the Mad Scotsman, and they're going to be my companions that I'm going to be using to go through this new feature that the mods for Medieval Engineers added in. Deep Flame was the one who told me about it, so I'll just show you how it is. So first of all, you can track players in spectator mode. Now you have to be an admin to be able to do this, but if you go up to them and say if I click on, right, Kumpo, stop moving. And if I press the middle mouse button, and now I'm tracking Kumpo, and then I'll do the Mad Scotsman, and there you go. So now that I'm tracking them, I've got all their specs, I can find out when they, so if you start hitting each other, when they get a blow in, you'll see, see, it, it gives you all the stats about when they're fighting. It's pretty smart, it's pretty cool and I'm really happy that it was added in, especially for the tournament. Um, now, if we go into the G menu and type in one of their names, so I'll start off with Gumpel. There's his wee figure right there and I'll drag him onto my hotbar and I'll do the Mad Scotsman. And now he's on my hotbar. So now, when they're on my hotbar, I can swap between them and I can see their point of views. There you go, Kumpel's going in for the kill. And the Mad Scotsman, anyway, it doesn't matter. You can also go into the third person view by holding Alt and the key number that they are on. So for example, Alt F2, Alt, just two. And there you go, and Alt 1. And then I'm on Kumpel's third person view. And it's telling me that he blocked it, now he's dead. And I can switch between them. And that is the camera features that were added into the game as well by, I think it was Deep Flame, because he wanted to be able to use that when they actually have the official tournament, which will be this weekend coming up. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hopefully this has helped you out a lot in being able to set up your own waypoints and being able to put them onto hotkeys. And yeah, so anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being amazing. And as always, stay safe.